different process and, and, and then just repeat itself. I, I just got back from uh, Lisbon for Web Summit and uh, for me, everyone said, what was your main takeaway? And uh, for the first time we met with the mayor and we, I just realized that we are doing something to put ourselves on that, but we are competing with Lisbon, we are competing with all of the hubs around the world and hey, I mean, they are doing an amazing job. So the mayor of Lisbon was, we are all focusing 100% on the And I know that we can do minus it, but we have to know that we are competing, I mean, when it comes to digital events or bringing these and we are competing with them. On the other side, I do believe we have to do better, it's yeah. focus on the community and just focus on skills, but also the soft skills. And also create the supportive environment where peer learning is the most valuable thing. And this is what's happening here. We have members who uh, travel to Kenya for a month, two months, and then ended up staying permanently. And I can, I can say that I can see a couple of them here, which they will communicate uh, Paris, one uh, from the uh, United States. And they all stayed here because they found community which have the same mindset. They can share a story and they feel that they are understood because uh, this is what remote workers need. They need also that. But on the other side, they need a space or like community or whatever kind of setup to enable them and to create that kind of support. And this is what we're trying to do, and we're looking forward to seeing more and more communities right now. This is not something that only Kula or only business uh, represent or municipality. Yeah. This is like an ecosystem itself. And I totally believe that we have to find a way how we can set up in the same table and kind of align, because that would really accelerate the process. I mean, thank God we have COVID, which uh, accelerates some because we won't work uh, when it comes to that, but I mean, on the other side, yeah, COVID was also devastating. We understood, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> we launched the space one month before COVID, so you might understand that how, how devastating that was for us. It was just like... Actually, we launched uh, like a small digital agency the month before COVID also, and we had difficulties because uh, like we were supposed to meet people to get new clients at the time. We didn't do this like Google Meet approach, but then we managed, and that's how we like uh, came to the basis of uh, of Simbolo. So to to like uh, highlight what Arlene said, I think that we all need to see that we can get a job to to Meta, to Facebook. We can get a job to Google. We just need to have that approach, and that the culture is sometimes the most important thing when we are going through towards an international company. Because technical skills, I believe that we have here even representatives from development academies. We can learn everything. We are like, uh, uh, we, I, like the, I like the thing that we can be the best of the best if we work towards that goal. So I want to thank uh, everyone. And Irina, I have just one little bit, like a little thing that I wanted to ask you is freelancers right now, remote workers. If you have from the top of your head two, three things that they would need into the 2023, like I know that you would say taxes, but like you cannot determine into that. I am not happy about taxes either. But what can you do? Yeah. When it comes to taxes, I'm not like a very. I think uh, like as a country, you sometimes intervening a lot, but just it can also have a negative. So right now, I, I even when it's about the startup law and everything, I think we can we can go very, very slowly. We need time to process government is like that, but yeah, I'm not a government person, person so I don't get into you know, it. But uh, what I do believe, I think um, freelancers, more and more, that there should be a connection between freelancers which are working local or remote, I think there should be a better mechanism to connect with you. So I think there's a gap between the local tech talent and the remote workers which are living in Albania and the digital nomads that they come. There is no, I mean, except for working spaces, which are, I mean, there are quite a few, and the best news is that there are new coming up in the city. But uh, I think we should find ways how to integrate both. I think there's a huge potential to peer exchange you know, or learn from each other and kind of connect. Uh, so, yeah. The gap between the local and the digital ones that are both workers who come from outside um, and more spaces. I believe, I mean, we are full house. We are, we, uh, since one year, we don't have any more available space. We can grow, but we cannot be, be I mean, we cannot grow more and more every So this, as I said, I believe in the power of ecosystem. More and more organizations have to step in and kind of do their own uh, 
there's a lot, we need more spaces, we need more spaces for debate, we need more events like this, and I think freelancers, when it comes to capacities technically, I think we got them. When it comes to soft skills and cultural fit, I think we need to work a lot, and there are many, many players who go into this. So we need to like hang out more with each other and learn more from each other from the experience so we can grow. Can we do like a connection between uh, the remote workers, you know, and the digital nomads who are coming in Albania and the local talent here for the group, Albanian leaders that we have been discussing?